Composing in the Wilderness is uh, an opportunity for composers to apply for a spot on this team that goes in the wilderness in Denali National Park to compose a brand new piece of music from scratch in three days. The whole trip was 17 days um, from start to finish. When we arrived there the very first night, we didn't know what instruments we'd be writing for. And so the instruments were literally placed in a hat and we reached in and we were to choose four. And so uh, the instruments that I selected were violin, flute, alto saxophone, and percussion, which is a kind of an odd group to compose for. When we were actually doing the wilderness exploring part of the trip, our camp was always in the same place. It was the Teklanika River. During the days, we spend the whole day exploring and there are so many amazing locations after we finished in the, in the wilderness there, we moved to our remote uh, site where we were doing the intensive composing. So there were eight different composers and eight different approaches. Some composers reacted immediately to the environment and started sketching things down. I preferred myself just to take kind of a macro approach. I just wanted to just take it in and not, be, not feel burdened by having to compose when I was out there. My biggest inspiration probably from the whole experience of being out there in the wilderness, one was the views and the other one um, was the smells of the flowers. There were so many different wildflowers in bloom. It helped me to have a process of, of letting all of that sink in and absorbing all of that for a while. And I actually ended up choosing three pictures for inspiration for my song. My initial thought about composing it was that I was going to write this, this thing about a grand epic view, you know, and so it was going to be this very solemn kind of piece. But that's not the piece that, that came out when I started to compose. Uh, it was much more rhythmic than that. I, I ended up calling it Alpine Dance. I started to just sketch some ideas out, trying to draw abstract shapes of how I wanted this piece to, to work. I was feeling the, the wildlife and the rhythms of the wind and, and the water. Thankfully, there was music in my head at that moment and I was able to write that down. Uh, and I ended up with pages of, of handwritten music. And then in the last phase of it, created the, the music that looks like published music. So once we arrived to campus at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, uh, we met the group composed of musicians from New York City. Normally when that occurs, the, the ensemble has had weeks to work on your music, so they've prepared it and they've had a chance to learn it. Um, but it was amazing to me how quickly it came together. They're such fine musicians uh, that it seemed like they had had it for weeks, but they'd had it for minutes. I'm just grateful that I was allowed the opportunity. The whole process is life-changing. Um, they say that, but then you get there and realize why. Just unplugging for that period of time, just not having access to any email or any texts was so profoundly freeing. That has been a really valuable point of reflection for me.